Here at Local 5, we want to honor the remarkable women who go above and beyond. Tonight, we introduce you to our fourth finalist, Pat Heafy, who retired from her career in education in 2019, but as Local 5 Samantha Petter shows us, still found a way to continue helping kids grow. She is an extremely dynamic person who has this unique ability to see the best in everyone and to make others um, believe in themselves. A retired educator of 34 years, Pat Heafy continues to devote her time to making a difference in the lives of students. It started because of a need. Um, and the, the mission of Growing Resiliency is to help grow literacy and resilience in children. A need that has not gone away. 44% of the third graders in Brown County, 37% of third graders in the state of Wisconsin um, scored proficient on the last state exam in reading. And in seeing those students struggle, Pat identified her own need to support and nurture that mindset of resilience. And really thought that um, maybe the next step was to think about how I could give back with those talents that I had accrued over that um, 30 plus year or career in, in education. So in 2017, her nonprofit, Growing Resiliency, was born, where she takes her team of educators to local primary and elementary schools to provide targeted tutoring based on students' needs. We would really target that area of literacy and that area of resilience to help close that achievement gap, to help offer tutoring services, high impact tutoring services to children who might not have access to, to that type of support. Now, Growing Resiliency has expanded into a platform for tackling the challenge of increasing the literacy rate and is helping others in the process. As a tutor, um, we plan our lessons and give the lesson, obviously, um, through the program under the guidance of Pat, who's um, the head, and then we all have tutor coaches who are there to support us. A St. Norbert College sophomore, Megan Solentine, has been a tutor with Growing Resiliency for two years now and enjoys celebrating her students' successes. For that one-on-one, -on -one, it's huge to build a relationship and know that that student has a champion in you as a teacher. Um, and we're really a champion for them as a student uh, so that they know that their brain is still working hard, um, that they're learning new things every single day. Solentine says the partnership between St. Norbert and Growing Resiliency is unique in helping first-year education majors hone in on their skills that will be used throughout their teaching career. It's been such a great experience for me as like a future teacher to like be cognizant of what I'm doing in the classroom and how it's affecting every kiddo. We reach well beyond just the, the students here um, in the schools that we work with, but also to work with the college students and the education department and the community as a whole. With growing resiliency, everyone is learning and growing all around. Our survey results and the data that we um, have has shown that 88% um, of all of our kids grew in resilience in just one semester's time and all of our kiddos um, have grown in the literacy skills since the beginning of the year and that's been the trend the last two years. And despite the difficulties that come with extended learning, Pat only hopes to inspire and educate her students, future leaders. We all are, are put here for a reason, we all have that sense of purpose and that can really help um, us to help the world become a better place through what we do, whatever our skill sets are. It gives hope for the future. Samantha Petters, Local 5 News.